APIX5 anchor Alan Martin joining us live in Santa Rosa tonight where thousands were forced to evacuate. Alan. Juliet and Brian, you know, more than 60,000 people have been evacuated here in Santa Rosa alone. Hundreds have come here to the Sonoma County Fairgrounds. And now, while evacuating is, of course, very emotionally difficult to go through, the people we talk to are very grateful to have a place like this to come to. For Donnell Binkley, her husband Glenn, and their two dogs, Tara Bell and Tawny Spring, the evacuation center has been home since about 1.30 this morning. Everything was ready, they just had to throw it in the car. The laptop, the important papers, so if somebody broke into my car, my purse, it's not in the car, it's just pick it up and go. And that's what we did. We picked it up, we checked on my dad, he didn't want to go. I told the rest of my family, check on him, we're going. And um, we came here. She and Glenn live in Santa Rosa and got out before the evacuation order was given. Our area hadn't been uh, even set up as a uh, pre warning for the evacuation yet, but it is now evacuated. Uh, we're north of uh, Highway 12 and west of uh, 101. West of Highway 101 has been a big concern for firefighters all day. That area hasn't burned for decades. And Cal Fire says there's plenty of extremely dense, dry fuel to keep the flames raging and racing into more neighborhoods. For Carol, overall, there was no time to prepare to get out. She also had to evacuate her 91-year-old mother who has dementia. For the longest time, we were in an island that um, there was no evacuations. We still had power and gas, and um, then all of a sudden, an alert came out and said, get out now. So we did. Santa Rosa has certainly been through this fire drill before, the most devastating being the Tubbs fire in 2017, when more than 2,800 homes were destroyed and 22 lives lost in Sonoma County. Is it different this time? <laughs> Do you think we've learned from the past two years? I think we have up here. I think um, other areas need to think about it. I should point out that we were not allowed to go inside to talk to people for privacy concerns, and that's really understandable. Another area of the property we couldn't get to, but we could see it from the road, are the stables. A lot of people here had horses and other animals they had to evacuate. They're very grateful to have the space for that. But I got to point out, too, that right there the sign says that animal evacuations no longer being accepted. They are full here tonight. Of course, everybody here tonight is hoping that tomorrow the wind dies down, the power comes back on and they can get back home hoping that they have a home to go back to on the night beat i'm alan martin